Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review and this time we are heading over to the Perfect Draft yet again uh, or the Perfect Draft Pro over there. Now this time I'm looking at a keg that was released, uh, it's Wednesday the 5th of October today. This was released last Tuesday, so not yesterday, uh, the Camden Hells was released yesterday and I've reviewed that and that video is up. But uh, which you'll probably know by the time you see this one. But this keg that I'm going to be reviewing was released last Tuesday and it's from Adnams and it's their Ghost Ship Pale Ale coming in at 4.5%. Now, this keg was from Beer Hulk, <laughs> like they pretty much are every single time, and it came in at £36.50. Uh, on this occasion, because I was ordering the Camden Hells, I well. Not just on this occasion, to be honest, I'm a little bit miffed with uh, how they've been doing all their offers and what have you with the glasses and that. And you don't even get the the proper Adnams Ghost Ship glasses. So that was the reason I didn't go for the glass pack, uh, as opposed to me picking up the Camden ones, because that was a better deal. Anyway, I'm chatting shit now, so let's stop waffling on. Keg comes in at £36.50, 4.5%. Uh, I didn't get any discount on this uh, deal that I got this time, because that is the only downside when you buy these glass packs, they never give you any discount on them. Uh, and with that in mind, I, I didn't want to get another thing with no discount. And I just said, sod it. It was only because the candle was so good. Right, let's shut up. Stop talking shit, Baz. Right, like I say, I don't have the ghost ship glass, but it does recommend a shaker style glass, which is one of these. This is a Stonehouse one. Uh, so yeah. I've got the PD Pro set at five degrees. That is a recommended temperature for this beer. So let's shoot over there and crack on, do the pour, come back and take the review from there. Let's get going. Right, here we are over at the machine, not poured nothing out yet. It's literally two minutes ago, got to five degrees. So this is the first one out. I'm expecting it to be a little bit lively, but let's see what we get. I've got that initial burst of carbonation. The head's going to be rather large on this, no doubt. It should settle down a bit, though. Let's hope so. So, we're back. Beer in a glass. Like I say, the initial burst, it's always lively on the first one, generally. That will settle down. Uh, but, yeah, looking at exactly as I was expecting. So, amber in colour. Not an awful lot of uh, carbonation going up the glass, it's got to be said. Big three finger white head, uh, which is going down a bit. It's going down to about two nearly now. Uh, but yeah, apart from the lack of carbonation. But this isn't a nucleated glass, so I'm not too worried about it. Hopefully the beer's still going to be good. Uh, do like this beer in a bottle. Been a while since I've had it, but I, I, I don't mind it. It's a little bit crafty, but more traditional. So, yeah, let's dive in with the nose and see what we get from the perfect draft one. Yeah, that sort of multi-backbone to it. Citrus, a little bit of grapefruit in there. Yeah, it's it, it, it doesn't really blow your mind, this beer. Uh, it doesn't even blow my mind in a bottle. But what it is, is a good, enjoyable sort of beer. But it does smell good from the perfect draft. So without further ado, let's dive in and give Adnam's Ghost Ship a try. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't know whether that big, thick, creamy head is helping this beer or not hopefully you'd like to think you're still going to get that not maybe as big but you'd like to think you're going to have a nice thick creamy head that sort of size when you pour every beer but it's got a lovely mouth feel on this lovely body to it a good dense body on this lovely and creamy as you drink it Carbonation is in there, but it's just a, a gentle fizz through the mouth. Very smooth. A 
not the softest, but saying that doesn't really do it any damage in any way, if you like, taste-wise. And I might have to top this one up and pause it, pause it, or well, pause it and top it up. Don't want to top it up and then pause it, do I? Yeah, a nice maltiness to it to start off with. And you get that citrus, that grapefruit thing coming through. For me, behind that, once that sort of citrus grapefruit fruitiness goes, you do get a nice little sort of breadiness. I would say a little bit of brown bread. Come through on the back end. Even maybe a little bit of sweetness. It's not over bitter, the bitterness is pretty much at the start of the mouthful where you're getting that grapefruit sort of thing in there, but it is only a gentle bitterness. 4.5% drinks really well for that. Uh, it's a nice, easy drinking beer. Again, maybe not the time of year to be drinking this. Uh, I mean, nothing wrong with drinking it now, don't get me wrong. But a nice sort of summer's day, this would go down really well. Uh, and definitely, you know, sitting in the garden with a barbecue, going a bit of chicken or something, be ideal. A bit of carbonation coming up. Excuse me. One more. Yeah, and not only that, you get the hops in this beer. Takes a little bit of, bit of time for your palate to adjust. I mean, granted, all right, big head there. I've had about half a pint, and I, uh, but them hops are really sort of starting to kick in, and they feel very much sort of, there's a bit of old school sort of feel in there. Uh, but it's nice, it's nice, it's a decent drop. I'm gonna have to top it up again for the thumbnail. But uh, yeah, for me, Adnam's Ghost Ship is a good, solid, sort of traditional kind of pale ale for me, uh, but it is. It is, it is a traditional pale ale, it's, it's not like a lot of the craft stuff. Uh, it's a good solid pale ale. It's one that isn't gonna wow you, but you are gonna, gonna enjoy it. And if you do like it anyway in a bottle, it certainly does well on the old keg uh, from the Perfect Draft. So uh, yeah, highly recommend picking it up. Uh, if you've had it already, which a lot of you probably have because I'm a week late to the party, let me know what you think. Uh, there is a bit of I think there's a little bit of moaning maybe with some people that you can pick the keg up, uh, the five litre mini keg, you can pick that up quite a bit cheaper than this one. But I mean, if you are fortunate enough, obviously you're gonna get your five pound discount when you send the keg back. And if you do uh, get the 10% discount, it's certainly bringing it in somewhere close and you haven't got all the faff of your, uh, with the five litre mini keg of turning it on and that this, this is gonna last you 30 days, whatever or you can, you know, you haven't got no worries. Anyway, I'm chatting shit now, so I'm gonna shut the hell up. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to like and share it and subscribe. Like I say, if you like all this, if you like this beer anyway, give it a go on PD. Uh, that's it, thank you all for watching. Sorry for boring you, and I'll see you again soon on another beer review. Cheers.